An extremely useful shell utility available on Linux is the grip command. What is grip? Grip is used to search for patterns within files. So if I switch over to the terminal, the basic use of grip is you grip space and then within quotes, you have some pattern that you're searching for. And then of course you need to give it a file name. So path to some file. An example of this in real world use is I know within my bash RC file, I have many lines that begin with the string alias. So let's grip for alias in my dot bash RC c file and if i hit enter it returns all the lines from that file that have the string alias now that was quite a bit of output let me search for a string that i know only appears once in the file i have my name near the top of my bash rc so let's grip for derek and you can see there is the comment at the top of the file with my name. Now by default, grip uses basic regular expressions. So grip does have this flag here, dash capital G for basic regular expressions. Now you don't have to use this because the default behavior of grip is to use basic regular expressions. So what are basic regular expressions? So those would be things like the caret symbol for the beginning of the line, the dollar sign for the end of the line, uh, the period for match any character. Uh, then you have things like brackets with various characters, you know, match any of these, or, you know, you could do, you know, don't match any of these. You could do uh, a range, for example, A through Z. So any character A through Z in this case, and you even have the uh, star, the asterisk character, and of course the backslash, which is used for escape sequences. Those are all basic regular expressions. There are more regular expressions called extended regular expressions you can use, but those require a special flag. Those would require the dash capital E flag for extended regular expressions. And then you could use things like the question mark, you could use things like plus, you could use the braces, you, you could use parentheses, and of course you could use the pipe or the switch. So to show some of this in action, if I just wanted to use basic regular expressions, I could use the capital G flag or even without it, just grip with no flag is the capital G flag for basic regular expression. Let's search for the beginning of every line that includes the string alias. And then once again, we'll do my bash RC file. And all the lines that alias appears were at the beginning of the line pretty much. So that's why that worked. And if I up arrow, let's do another basic regular expression. Maybe I want to search for the string E C T O period, the period any character followed by Y. So if I do a search for that, you can see it returns several lines that included the string, uh, really directory. But remember, this could have been any character because that's what the period symbolized. And a common example of using the extended regular expressions would be having a switch. So let's search for all the lines that contain the string Derek or the string LS. And once again, we'll do my bash RC. And now I get all the lines, which is just the one that included the string Derek, but several things included the string LS. Now, occasionally you may want to search for a string that could cause problems because it's a character used in either basic or extended regular expressions. If you want to turn off the regular expressions, grip has the dash capital F flag for fixed string, and then you give it a fixed string to search for, and then, you know, the path to some file. Sometimes you want to do an inverse grip. An inverse grip means find the lines that do not contain this pattern. And you use the dash V flag for inverse grip. And then for example, in my bash RC, I have a lot of commented lines. A commented line in bash begins with the pound symbol, the hashtag. Well, I can tell it to do an inverse search for the beginning of the line and the pound symbol. So that's going to be all the lines that are commented. And then dot bash RC. And that could be very useful if you want to, for example, have the output from a file without the commented line. So if you always know the commented symbol, in this case, bash has the, the hashtag, the pound symbol. If you just do an inverse grip, then you get the document without any of the comments. What if you want to search for a pattern in all the files in a directory? Well, we have the recursive flag. So do grip dash R, and then once again, search for some pattern, except this time, instead of path to a file, you would do a path to a directory. One of the grip commands that I use most often is actually grip dash capital I R 
L, and then some pattern path to a directory. What does this do? Well, dash capital I tells grep to ignore binary files because binary files are just filled with just junk. You're usually not searching for strings within binary files, just tell grep to ignore binary files. And then R is a recursive search, and L tells grep to return the file names rather than print the line that contains the search pattern. Especially when you're doing a recursive search, just getting the line that contains the pattern doesn't do much for you. I want to know the file and the file name that contains the search pattern. So grep dash capital I R L some pattern path to a directory. I use this all the time. So let me show you this in action. If I do a grep dash IRL, let's search for my name and let's search in my dot config directory. Very large directory, got a lot of config files. And in a lot of those config files, I do list my name in comments. And let's go ahead and do a search. The search is going to take a while. I'll cancel the search, but you can see it already found several files that did include the pattern Derek, my name, found a log file. It found a theme for Rofi. Uh, my Brave browser apparently has my name in certain things like the bookmarks. Another useful grip flag is the dash I flag for ignore case. So if you want to do a, a search, but you want to ignore case sensitivity. So it doesn't matter uh, if the characters are capitalized or not dash I for ignore case dash N is a useful flag. What this does, it adds line numbers to an output. For example, once again, let's do a grip and this time let's do a grip for D I R. Once again, we'll use my bash R C and you can see we get line numbers now. So it returns the lines that include the string D I R. It ignored case and sensitivity because you can see we've got capitalized uh, instances of that and lowercase instances it didn't matter because of the dash i and then n added line numbers so we know exactly what line of the file contained the string another useful flag sometimes is sometimes you don't want output to the terminal, uh, especially if you're scripting, you want to run the grip command for some reason, but you don't want any output to the terminal. Just tack on Q for quiet mode. And now, you know, it, it doesn't spit out any output to your terminal. Another useful flag is the dash S flag. The S flag suppresses error messages. So if I gave it a file that doesn't exist, for example, my dot bash RC2 file, this file doesn't exist. So if I run a grip, on this, I'm going to get an error message. But let's imagine for scripting purposes, I'm going to run a grip command on a lot of files. Some of them may be there, some of them may not be there, but I really don't want to see the error messages dash s for suppress errors. And now I don't get the output as far as the error message. One final flag I'm going to show you on this video is the dash m flag for the maximum numbers of matches allowed. So if you're running a grip search and you know the pattern is going to return uh, like a bajillion instances of that pattern. Uh, you, sometimes you just want to limit it. Maybe I only want the top two pattern matches for some pattern. Once again, we'll do, uh, actually, let's do alias. We know alias appears like a hundred times in my dot bash RC. So let's do grip dash M two alias dot bash RC. And we get the first two lines where that pattern matches. And if I up arrow and change that to the first 10 lines, you know, I get the first 10 lines that contain the string alias. So there you have it. I just barely scratched the surface with grip on this video. Grip has a lot of flags, a lot of options. It's a very powerful utility and you really should read the man page. So if you want to learn more about grip, type man grip in the terminal to read the manual.